Hi everyone! In this video, I want to talk about how to set up redirects for your website. This is a useful tool, especially if you had a previous site with your domain name built with another content management system like WordPress, but the pages are now obsolete or don't exist anymore after you've updated your website on the website.com site builder. It's also really useful if you want to redirect a page with a commonly misspelled slug. For example, if you had a website page with the URL, mywebsite.com slash enroll with one L at the end of enroll, which is the British spelling, you might want to add a redirect for mywebsite.com slash enroll with two L's in case visitors try to use the American spelling. Setting a redirect rule is also useful if you keep changing the URL of a page even if the content stays the same. So this would make sure that visitors who had previously bookmarked your page can find it. Or maybe it could be useful if you've made a product name change and now want to redirect visitors to the updated product. So right now, let's say I've previously created a website using WordPress in the past, but I've now recreated my website using website.com. Now I want to redirect users to the new pages that I've created using the site builder, because some of my old pages may not exist anymore. Of course, you can recreate the content and page using the same page name URL as your previous website, and that way you won't need to add a redirection rule. However, let's say I previously created a website using WordPress and I had a page that is nested in another subfolder. For example, createmywebsite.com slash updates slash annual sale. You may have used the website.com website builder to recreate that content with a new page URL with only one level, like createmywebsite.com slash news. So we're going to create a redirect rule to redirect my old URL to the new page that I created. To add a redirect rule, I'm logged into my website.com site builder, and now I'll go to site settings. I'll choose website settings and then choose URL redirection on the left. Now we'll choose to add new URL redirect rule. Now input the subdirectory or the slug after the forward slash that makes up the URL for the page you would like to be redirected. So the URL for my obsolete page would be createmywebsitenow.com slash updates slash annual sale. Now you can add the target page that you would like the URL to be directed to. I've already recreated that content on my news page, so I'll just select that. Now I'll click done and then save and publish. So now if users had bookmarked the URL createmywebsitenow.com slash updates slash annual sale or try to type that URL directly, they will be redirected to my news page. So I'll just click on that so you can see what that looks like. So they'll be redirected to this page here. So we'll go back and you can add new URL redirect rules just like what we did. So that's it for this video. As you can see, it's super easy to set up redirect rules and make sure you don't miss out on any visitors. Drop a comment if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more website tips. Thanks for watching.